I don't know what the fuck that is. I'm gonna post a picture of myself. I'm gonna be like, I'm on my worst day. Um, mama, you did it, and mama, it's not a face, you raised a bad bitch. <laughs> no. It's not a face, mom. I'm like, what don't, is that? Is this a sticker? It's not. Um, don't tell that to shoot his face. It's a face. It so does look like a sticker. It's like a sticker that's it's like the price tag. It's like Chase Your Dream. When's dinner? <laughs> I don't like onions. I'm just kidding. <laughs>it's Bobby and Pons and today we're gonna be doing a little story time video so welcome to my first story time <laughs> if you read the title which I'm assuming because I'm assuming you can read um you're clearly wondering why I got escorted home by a cop but well, like let it be known that like if you don't know me like my name is Bobby and Pons hi nice to meet you um this is who I am and also like this is totally normal for who I am because I'm just such a rebel and I just love doing crazy things a little backstory to this video that you're gonna want to keep in mind is that it was my mother's birthday the day after this all occurred all right so keep that fresh in your skulls keep that in mind all right don't don't you let it slip away don't let that thought slip away okay this whole story begins about like two years ago I believe it was a little bit after I graduated high school, so keep in mind I did all of this with a high school diploma in the bag. So pretty much this guy that I had known from high school, but I hadn't really known him. Like, it's a small town where I live, so everybody just kind of knows everybody. But had I ever talked to the guy? Personally, no. Um, but this guy that I had known from high school, you get it now, um, was throwing parties and he threw it like three nights in a row and I happened to just go every single night because although I was not invited, one of my friends was invited, so hey, we were invited! And at the time, I, I was in this era of partying and I was just freshly graduated and I was just, I was a whore for parties, you get what I mean? Like I wasn't a whore at parties, but I was a whore for parties, I loved going out. So. And keep in mind that this is also during my smoking era. Obviously, I do not smoke anymore. But this was when me and weed were like the bestest of friends. Like me and weed at the time were ride or dies until the ride pretty much ended. All right. So pretty much uh, <laughs> I go the first night with my friend. I go the second night with my friend. Both nights are killer. Both nights also there was a lot of talk about like... Um, the police busting the parties and this is just kind of something that happens and I don't know if it's just small towns But like with high school parties, you know, like sometimes they're not even worth it like because the risk that you run <laughs> however No Nothing was gonna stop me from going to this party because I was just like I wanted to go out like I like, keep in mind This is like two years ago. So like the current me. I'm not that person anymore. I'm not that bitch Like I'm not that bitch um <laughs> Like, nothing was gonna get in the way for me and having a good time. You get what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't about the party, it was about me having a good time. So let's just get right into it and start the story. So I go for the third night. Um, my friend who I had gone with the first and second night was not down to go for this third night in a row. Like, a normal, sane person. Like, like it's not Coachella. Like, it's not like a three-day thing. Like, this. <laughs> I really was just, I really was doing the most to have a good time. So I say, fuck it. Like, I don't need you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So I ended up going with this other person and then when we get there, we got separated and they did their own thing, I did my own thing. Eventually somehow, as a stoner does, ends up with fellow stoners. I somehow end up in this two-story house upstairs in a closet with like four other stoners and we're all like getting ready to- A little, a little moment, you know? We're all talking, we're chilling, I get this feeling in my stomach like, I don't know if you guys have ever heard about the calm before the storm. The calm before the storm. Well, my intuition's like, good. My intuition will be giving me like these weird like deja vu like feelings like of like something weird is about to happen. Like I would just get these weird feelings like I'm not in control anymore. Something is about to play out like a movie. Like right before I'm about to take a hit. For a second, schizophrenic like voices in my head are sitting there thinking like, should I take this hit? But what if something goes wrong? Take the hit. All these voices are going through my head because I feel this like weird like sensation in my gut and like something's not right and I don't know what it is, but 
Like, look at me. Like, I took the hit. And so <laughs> we do the damn sesh. Like, we have a good time. I end up leaving that closet. I, I literally don't know why we were in the closet. Like, we were literally in a walk-in closet kind of thing. Like, and I go downstairs and all of a sudden, like, I'm high as shit. Like, all of a sudden, everybody is running around like little ants. Like, everybody's like sims. Like, nobody is real. And I'm hearing a lot of the word, like, cop, 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 police, 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 cops, cops, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. I literally just, like, I remember, like, getting down the first part of the stairs and then just sitting there and just, like... Like, I had ascended to a new level of this party and something was not right. And I still had this weird gut sensation, like... Like, I was not present anymore. A movie was playing out in my head and things were just going the way they were. I go back down, like, I start kind of socializing, like, I'm trying to have fun. the brunch. Man, I got a sauce guy. I'm trying as much as I can. Like, the first and second night, there was a lot of talk about police coming, like, the party getting busted, but nothing happened. So I'm thinking, like, like a dumb bitch who's never heard the expression, third time's the charm. From my experience at high school parties, anytime the word cops or police or like 12 or any or like anything about it getting busted got thrown around by one person, this shit spread so fast. Immediately like 20 people would just turn their head and be like, what? Are the cops coming? Like everybody starts freaking out, rightfully so. <laughs> So like I heard a couple of people talking about it. Everybody starts going crazy. Some people are going upstairs. Some people are leaving out the back door. You know what I'm saying? Like some people are like, trying to. You know, some people are tying their shoes, getting ready to book it. Like some people are like taking the last chunk of their beer, getting ready to run. And I am clueless as fuck. Like if you know me, like I'm very much like I'm aware. Like I'm definitely like I'm smart. Like I'm there. Like you can't really. <laughs> I feel like you don't have to. You shouldn't have to tell people you're smart if you're smart. But um. Like, I'm there, like, so, but I took a hit of that weed, and so I'm just sitting there, like, I'm sitting there, like, so clueless, like, I'm just, like, the cops are coming, but, like, I'm, like, ignoring it, like, they're not, like, I'm sitting there, like, everything works out for me, things are always in my favor, <laughs> like, like, trying to manifest the cops not coming, like, I'm just, like, I'm not paranoid, like, I'm so not that bitch, like, I'm trying to have a good time, um, so pretty much, like, Everybody starts freaking out, but to like a whole new level. Like everybody's like, odd, like every single person in this whole like party is talking about this whole cop situation and how they're like outside apparently. I'm still in my own world. Like I'm still just like, I'm still chilling. Like nobody can tell me none. Pretty much. So like my friend that I came with, um, I saw them head upstairs. And for a second, I'm like, okay, well I should probably stick with the person I came with. And then I like start to walk up the stairs. And that's when I'm like, no. Like, I'm sorry, but like, if I go upstairs, what's gonna happen? Like, I'm gonna get caught, I'm gonna get breathalyzed. Like, what? Like, the only jump I do is jumping to conclusions. Like, I'm not gonna jump out of a window. So then, literally, I take like four steps up the like stairs, and then I go right back down. I'm like, no, that's not happening. <laughs> and so then, I see all these people going out the back door. And I'm like, okay, like, back door is the way. I go outside, so let me set the scene for you. There's like a little porch, and um, there's like, there's three other people there. And one of the girls there is somebody who I've known for a long time. And like, they were talking about the cops, but they were like, they were prepared to run. They were just like, well, if anything happens, like, we're gonna go. Like, I bet there's not even any cops coming. Like, they're like, chill. In this moment, I'm sitting there like outside pretty, like having a catch up moment with my friend. I have like a mics in this hand and my phone in the other, and I'm, um, not prepared to fucking run. It's the last thing I want to fucking do. Like, I, if you guys have seen my other videos, like, you know that I run. Or if you guys just know anything about me now, like, or who, if you guys know anything about the new me, like, you know I run. And I'm like an active person. I think I do things. Like, I'm a different bitch. Well, no, like, like we're talking about the 17 year old version of me. And let's just say the 17 year old version of me was not right. The 17 year old version of me was, was a doozy. These people that I'm with outside just kind of start freaking out. And they're kind of like, kind of getting sketch. And then at one point, like, they just decide they're gonna run. It's obvious that these three people, like, including my friend that I've known for a while, came together as a group to the party. And they had plans to be together after the party. I am not one of those people that came with them. Like, I'm just like, I didn't get the invite. <laughs> no, so like, I literally like, I did not know what to do. Like in the five minutes before they decided to bolt, like literally like track event, like field day of high school, like they decided to fucking run. Um, I was like chilling, like I was having a good time. 
like I'm not stupid. Like I thought about the cops coming, but it's just like, I didn't want to do it. Like I didn't want to do the whole situation. Like genuinely, like I was just not up for it. They decided they're going to run. They literally turn into the fucking careers from like fucking Hunger Games and they're getting their fucking like sharpening their knives. They're ditching the fucking alcohol. Like they're getting ready to fucking go. I'm sitting there like, guys, wait, are you gonna run? And then they're like, yeah, we're gonna run. And I'm like, what? Like, and I have two options. I have two fucking options, okay? So I have two options. One, go back inside with everybody else and then just like sit there and wait for them to come attack. Them being the police or whatever. And I have that option, you know, like that's, that sounds like a more safer option, like just chilling, you know. Um, this house that we were at happens to be like right in front of a woods area, like it's all forest. And so like, if we were to run, you'd be running into the forest where there's like dirt and there's like, there's like sticks and there's like trees. And um, there was like wild animals. Um, like it's open season out there. And so there was like that safe option there or the second option was to book it with these three people that I'm near with, you know, and um, I was scared, like, 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 no, shut the fuck up. Like, I'm scared. Like, shut the fuck up. I'm fucking peeing my pants. Like, I just chugged half of Mike's. I'm peeing my pants. All I wanted to do was sing 23 by Miley Cyrus. And literally, I'm having to bolt. Like, what? All I want to be doing is taking a sip, shaking some ass, talking, maybe socializing a little bit with people I don't know. And literally, in the split second that like, I'm deciding whether to go inside or run, these motherfuckers have already left. These motherfuckers have already started the mile. These motherfuckers have already ran. Like, like they literally like bolted and it was just dust cloud and I was like, where did they go? Like into the darkness, I kid you not. It was so dark. Little old Fabian, little old Fabian is sitting there like, please, Please, a hero, I'm holding out for a hero, somebody come save me. No, no one is coming. So literally like the door's right there, like I could just walk in and enter and face defeat with everybody else. But no, like, I literally, I grab the mics I'm holding. I like take a last sip. Like I literally, like I hold, I clench. Like I clench onto the mics I'm holding, I clench onto my phone and there's like these steps down from the porch that head straight into the woods. Like inside's not fun. Like also like I forgot to mention, but like the inside there's like all the lights are off. Like everybody's trying to be quiet to make it seem like there's not a fucking party. Like fucking Shoreline Mafia wasn't playing in the house like two minutes ago at full volume. All of a sudden like they've got the lights off and they're pretending nothing's going on. I'm like just outside. I've never been a runner in this stage of my life. Never been a runner. Never been fast. I'm thinking I'm gonna turn into like Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm thinking I'm gonna like Usain Bolt. Is that? <laughs> okay, I don't know. But I'm thinking I'm gonna run fast. I go down these little steps off the porch, almost slip. Like I literally almost fall straight down. Like I'm literally like losing already. When you are like running um, away from like parties or whatever, and you're running from the cops, you don't really have to run that fast. You just kind of have to beat somebody else. In this case, all the people that ran already are beating me. Like I'm the fucking runt of the group. I'm the fucking, like I'm the weakling. And so, Man, this shit was great. Like, like for a second, my Albert Einstein brain almost grabbed my phone and turned on the flashlight. If the cops are in the woods, I'm over here just like, oh my God, like, I don't want to fall. There's so many sticks. Like, please, I don't want to fall. Like, there's all these sticks. I don't want to fall. Like, turning on my flashlight. Like, bitch, are you stupid? Are you stupid? Like, clearly, I'm not a Boy Scout over here. And, and then I keep walk. I keep, like, walking is the thing. So all these like people I was with, 
I remember when they left, um, they ran off like fucking monkeys. Like they literally like just left and like booked it. They're like hopping over like trees that have knocked over. They're like, phew. they're like literally somersaulting. They're like cartwheeling into the woods, like climbing trees. They're literally like jumping over fences. And I'm like, not that kind of bitch. No, no, like no, never in a million years. Never. I'm poor, bitch. My Air Forces, like, mean the world. <laughs> My Air Forces literally mean the world. And then they literally, like, they got dirt all over them because I was like, I decided to run. Like, I can say it's the party, but it's like, I could just go and run. And then, like, and then they like, ran, and then I looked down, and my Air Forces are dirty. And then all of a sudden, there's like a fucking flashlight pointed at my face, and they're like, get down on the ground. In that fucking moment, I looked down to see my Air Forces and all this dirt just flailing around. And all of a sudden, like a flashlight gets pointed at me. I am a deer in headlights. Like, <laughs> like they literally flash the light at me. Like I'm also like, keep in mind, like I've made it sound like I ran quite a bit. It was like four steps at most, like four fucking steps. At this point, like they flash the light at me and I'm like, <gasps> I literally throw the fuck out of the mics. I launched the mics. He says, get down on the ground. I look down at the ground, it's all dirt. It's, might as well have been quicksand. Like, it's all dirt, it's nasty. I just paid money for these Air Forces. They were my graduation present from me to me. I literally, like, I plummet, like, full-on plank mode. Two men in uniform pull up. I'm, like, looking up. Like, can I get up? Can I get up? <laughs> So there's like two cops, like one of them is like clearly the one in charge of the two and the other one's just like following the other guy's command. So one of them is like, it's like, yeah, you like you can get up. And I'm like, fuck, I'm about to get lectured. Fuck, like I'm about to get in so much fucking trouble. Keep in mind, like I threw the mics, but I'm sure they saw me. At this point, like all the people I was with are gone. The people that were outside with me, they are already like past the fence, through the woods, through the tunnel, over the corner, up your ass. Like they're fucking gone. They survived. They are winners. All seriousness though. He's like, all right, you can get up. And I like get up. And he like tells the other guy to like try and go follow the other three people that were with me. Cause I'm thinking like, I'm about to be like handcuffed. Like I'm about to be arrested. Like, oh my God, I'm going to jail, mommy. Like I'm thinking I'm about to have my Lindsay Lohan moment like with my mugshot, like he literally like helps me up. And he's like, he's like, thank you so much for not running. Like I really appreciate it. Um, as you can see, like everybody else ran, like I really appreciate you not running at all. <laughs> like one, I'm kind of offended. I'm kind of a little insulted because I ran. Okay, so I didn't run, but I ran, like I tried. Like I literally tried. You ever try and then they don't think you tried? He's like, he's like, thank you so much for not running. I'm like, bitch, I did run. I'm like, I literally tried to sprint. He's like, thank you so much for not trying to get away. I did try and get away. This is me trying. Like, I was kind of offended. It kind of worked out for me. Like, things are always working out for me no matter how it looks at any point in time. Like, I, he felt bad for me. He felt bad for me. Sometimes I get ready to go to bed at the end of a long night and I think about this movie. Thank you for not trying to run. I like point at my Air Forces, I'm like, girl. <laughs> Like, dude, like, I tried to run. I tried to run. He's like, it's really responsible how you didn't run. Um, he's like, it's really responsible how you didn't run. And um, we really appreciate it. I can't do that voice. I'm sorry, but it's over. Like, I'm... This cop's like, let's go back up, like, by where the house is at. Like, I wasn't even that far. And then he's, like, trying to get me to snitch. He's like, do you know who threw the party? I'm like, no, I, like, don't even know them. And then um, he's, like, asking me, like, so how many people were in there? I'm like, maybe five, ten. And then we get back up there, and there's, like, four sheriff trucks just right there. Oh, somebody's gonna get in trouble for this. Somebody's gonna get in trouble for this. And then they, like, put me in front of one of the sheriff trucks, and he's like, just wait here. And he's like, don't even try to run. 
Like, did you not see how I tried to run earlier? You think I'm gonna try and run? What am I, a fucking Olympic athlete? Like, no. In my head, I'm like, okay, like, the other cop, like, a couple of minutes ago, went to go get the other three people. They're gonna get caught. I'm not gonna be alone. I'm gonna have three other people dealing with the same consequences, consequences as I am. We're all gonna get in trouble together. We're in this together. We're like this. We're like this. Traumatic bond. I wait for five minutes. I wait for 10 minutes. I'm literally sitting there like, fuck, what am I gonna eat for breakfast tomorrow? And then eventually like the cop that told me thanks for not running comes out and is like, like, oh, like the other people got away. Like, thank you so much for not running. Like, like just thanking me. Like, like, thank you. Like, no, it's enough. Like, stop thanking me. Like, seriously, stop thanking me because I tried to fucking run and you don't think I tried. And it's seriously just offensive at this point. The other three people got away with it. Like, they got away. They ran. Like, I don't even know. Like, I tried so hard to run and like, I could have done it. Like, I could have proven myself to them. I could have followed in their footsteps and I could have... I dirtied my Jordans. Poor fucking me. And so then like this cop is like, who's just really like top notch at this point. Like honestly, like if cops had a Yelp review, I'd probably leave like a five out of five star review. Th this man's was like, I'm just gonna escort you home. And I was like, oh my God, like really? I was like, really? Thank you so much. Like, like I owe my first child to you. Like, this is crazy. Like I just met you and I feel like we're really getting along. Like, oh my God. Like, but the police SUV thing is like parked all the way down there, like at this other place, because like I said, we're surrounded by woods. Like, so we're gonna have to walk over there. And I'm like, okay, we fully start going on a hike. We fully like, I have friends that like I've known for years, never gone on a hike with, never gone on a walk. With. And he's just telling me like, I get it. Like when I was a teenager, like I used to do that kind of stuff. Like I so get it. Like I'm not blaming you or making you feel bad at all, but it's really responsible that you didn't run. I'm like, I roll like, I'm not even gonna try and explain. <laughs> He like starts asking me questions like, oh my God, like, are you going to college? Like, did you just graduate? Like, just things about my life. He's like, who's your mom? Who's your dad? Because like, like I said, I live in a fucking small town and people just want to know that kind of information. Like, who's your mom? Who's your dad? What do, what, what do they do for work? Like, oh my God. And I'm just like, oh. We eventually get to this police car. Like the whole time I'm walking, I'm like, dude, like this guy is so sweet, but there's no fucking way he's not gonna make me sit in the back like a criminal. Like criminal side eye. Like I am an offender of some kind. Like I'm gonna have to sit in the back like I did something really bad. And I'm like, there's no way. Cause it's either like sit in the back or it's like sit in shotgun. I sat shotgun. <laughs> like literally in what world? Like we get to the car and I'm like, hey, like I don't mean to push it, but like, I'm like, gonna have to sit in the back because I feel like that's really humbling. Like I'm a humble person, but like that's really humbling. <laughs> He's like, no, like I was gonna let you know, like you can just sit up front, like you're fine. Like you don't have to do that. Like I could have sat in the back, like full on handcuffs moment, full on arrested vibes. So I remember like he had to walkie talkie like his friends or whatever. And I call my mom. Cause I let him know, I was like, can I call my mom? Like if, cause basically he had explained to me, he was like, okay, so we're gonna have to escort you home. Then I'm gonna have to talk to your mother. Cause I'm still 17. I asked him if I could call my mom to like, let her know about like the following events that were about to take place. I call her, keep in mind, like I said at the beginning of this video, it is her birthday technically because it's past midnight. Um, she did know I was going to a party because I've always just been honest with my mom. Like if I am going to a party, she knows about it. And I'm calling her and she's like, hello. Keep in mind, this is all in Spanish. My mom doesn't speak a lot of English. Oh, hola. And I'm like, hey mom, so you're not gonna believe what happened. Like the party got busted. Like, I, should I say it in Spanish? Like, I don't know. Like, like she's like, oh. Like I roll as fuck. Like she's like, she's like, I fucking knew it. That's why I don't like you going out. <laughs> I tell her, I'm like, so I'm gonna get home. Like, this got busted. Um, the cop didn't think I ran, but I did run. But he's appreciating the fact that I didn't run. And now he's escorting me home for no fucking reason. Like, I don't know if he doesn't have anything better to do, but he's taking me home personally. Just one person. Like, not other people. It's just me and him. And he's taking me home. Um, and then I'm gonna have to talk to you. And then be like, hey, like, he broke the law. Like, do you know, he, do you realize he broke the law? And then, like, maybe I'll get off easily. And she's like, okay, like, I'll be out in five. And I'm like, okay. we do the drive back. I'm like, a, I'm like, looking around. Like, I'm giving, I'm like, looking around. I'm like checking out the whole police hardware. He's like literally like driving and like searching. This is what I don't understand about cops. Like if, if texting and driving is not like, if texting and driving and shit like that is illegal or like just like, why do they get to like type on their computers? Like I don't, anyways. But he's like searching up my like name online. <laughs> oh, he's like driving and he's like saying, he's like, oh, so you got pulled over like a year ago. 
like yeah like for speed we end up getting to my house and i have to translate as a child of two individuals who don't really speak a lot of english i've had to translate my whole life pretty much my mom's outside like already waiting for us and i can't like look at my mom <laughs> so, it's also her birthday and I, I told the cop that like the literal cop is like happy birthday <laughs> officer this is my mom Mom, this is Officer Blank. The officer would be like, oh yeah, like he got in trouble for like consumption of alcohol for like a minor, blah, blah, blah. He got caught at a party. And then I'm having to translate all of that to my mom. Like, and I'm literally sitting there just like translating back and forth this whole conversation while I'm like not there. Like I'm literally not here right now. Got her done. I asked him, I was like, hey, so like, am I going to get in trouble for this? Like, am I going to be having like, a court date, you know, like, am I gonna be going to jail? <laughs> it's like, I really can't do that, and it's really a lot of work, and I just, like, I, like, I can't do that, and I just got out of high school, and it's just, like, so much work, like, I can't get in trouble, and I just really don't- I don't cry. Like, I didn't cry. Yeah, like, basically, he was like, well, I don't really know what's gonna go down with, like, the person who threw the party, and, like, everybody who was at the party, because I'm not there right now, but I'm definitely gonna put in a good word for you to try and get you not in trouble since you didn't run. Again, the didn't run thing, like, it still bothers me to this day. Like, I did run. Basically, then, like, we say goodbye, and I'm like, bye, Officer Blank, and then my mom's like, bye, Officer Blank, and, um, yeah, since then, like, I got away with it, like, nobody who went to the party got in trouble from it, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if the guy who threw it got in trouble, but, so I'm glad I got, I, I had, like, a personal designated driver take me home, so, yeah, so, literally, like, Salute to that man because he was like the best cop I've ever met in my life. Yeah, so that's how I got escorted home by a police officer and I rode in a cop car. So it wasn't clickbait, motherfuckers. I have thousands of more stories like that. So I don't know, like text me if you want some more. Let me know if you want to hear some more stories. So toodles, thanks for listening. Slip and slide, water falls, you and me, uh-huh, it's alright, I'm saying it's alright.